All right, folks, how are we doing? It's Shabash, it's Orna, and this is a long-awaited early-tier, mid-tier guide for the Battle Mage class, kind of halfway through the Mage class line. Now, I generally prefer Battle Mage to the Grand Mystic class at Tier 6. It's kind of the first decision mages have to take after going Druid at Tier 5. And generally, I like Battle Mage because you get your multi-elemental skill for your faction, and that's going to help you, you know, deal a bit of extra damage for, for raiding uh, more than anything. I mean, the differences aren't super, you know, the differences aren't that much in terms of stats. The magic stat is the same. Grand Mystic gets a bit more mana, a bit more dexterity. And the abilities, well, we have Mana Siphon for Battle Mage. Basically, sometimes you don't use mana for skills and Beast Mode. That is your, that is your kind of charge passive. You want to, you need to kill 10 animals uh, to charge that. Grand Mystic. Mystic Feather is definitely a much better passive than Mana Siphon. Uh, but that generally applies in a, you know, you can get stunned and uh, frozen and asleep uh, fairly easily still. So, and then you've got Krista Vanwin. Okay, you need to kill Fomorians basically to, to keep that charge. So, you know, there's not that many differences uh, between them. Uh, okay, you don't get the bonus damage from Arcane unless you find an Amity. So we're going to go Battle Mage. And the spec that this video is focusing on is the Duelist spec. There's not so much point getting a shield at this tier in general. You might pick up a nice event shield here and there if you spend time at this tier, but in my opinion, you're better off finding two decent weapons and you know, charging them up. The Duelist, we get a bit of dexterity, and we have the passive here, which actually gives us 15% stats as long as we are dual wielding. Uh, offensive stats so yeah that's pretty nice we, we're almost hitting 2k magic in uh, in a couple of loadouts so with that being said of course you can always go the berserker spec now i would say if you're purely focusing on uh, pve content like raiding and dungeons uh, berserker is is probably a better bet overall for that berserk one scale you get 50 percent damage but I love Duelist because you can blow people up in PvP in the arena. And we'll, uh, we'll come on to that. And uh, yeah, it's actually bun it is a bunch of fun. So without further ado, let's check out. We're going to do gauntlets, we're going to do arena, and we're going to do raiding. So let's start with a gauntlet. And I'll show you my, my gear setup first of all. Now, I'm going to use the same two weapons for all the content here. I've got two witches arty staffs from Carmen. You can also use the one from Carmen of the Underworld. They're basically the same. They give you increased experience. They're pretty good magic. Now, for dual wielding, you want to use two weapons which are pretty closely matched in terms of stats. So if you have one ornate weapon and you know your next best is like a famed, then you're probably better off not dual wielding. Now you can... Pick up options like the Titan, the Raid, or even Star Lord. Their weapons, um, but basically you want to use like, your best two staffs you have. Uh, keep an eye out on event gear as well. I'm wearing kind of jolly stockings from the Scrooge event. They're standard quality. I'm using a, like a level one sun robe from Star Lord. Also got a witch's hat. Witch's hat and the the witch's staffs you can farm from Carmen. Uh, especially if you're doing party play there they're actually really good and i'm using a couple of trolls charms here you can swap one out for a monster tomb uh, for example or even a dragoon charm for your pet so i will show you my stats here so you have a little uh, comparison you can make in my gauntlet so i am in my origin town i am in a party but you can see our our magic there 1983 that's pretty decent 1100 resistance and uh, just under 800 defense so that is the ballpark we're at and i'll show you my skills as well for the gauntlet now i'm earthen faction so i've got multi tremor there now also got cataclysm as like a, a nuking spell and then sorrow 2 that's kind of if you play if you're playing regularly and you're keeping sorrow uh, charged you definitely want to have to use that 
Otherwise, you can use uh, Bolt 3 as an element list. And then I've got Drain to heal HP. Magic Strikes as like a cheap, uh, I guess it's a physical elemental spell. And then for buffs, we want Golden's Fortitude, Barrier 2. Uh, magic boost, you can either use magic boost or if you've got magic tonics, you can use that. Now, if you have picked up a ring of day from events, you definitely want to wear a ring of day and then take Jin's talent. I do not have a ring of day on this character, so I'm going for a mimic's mischief and I'm kind of just, you know, we the drain will actually do decent damage to offset the, the curse effect. You could even use uh, cleric class if you if you're really scared you can use like a dispel to, to clear that that's actually a decent option or or a pet i'm not sure there's any low tier and uh, non-event pets that will cure uh curse from from a dispel skill so just keep your eye out for that so let's go in with the boss dungeon and it's going to be fairly standard we go golden's fortitude really great skill for mages uh, barrier two and I didn't talk about my pet. I'm using a Cruel Banshee. It's an, it's an event pet. And you can use a Wisp. You can use pretty much whatever. Um, I got lucky with my Mimics Mischief cast there. And, you know, at the start, if you've got any spare, you can, you know, mana potion up. But that's us. We're buffed up. Uh, single magic up. Double magic up. And let's check out Twin Blast. There you go. 4.4k. Pretty decent uh, mana free skill. And it is elementless damage, I'm pretty sure. So we're just going to cruise through these early floors until we miss. Let's try multi trimmer. We get our 25% earth faction bonus there, so that's why that's doing 11k damage. Twin Blast can crit as well. That's probably not going to. Okay, and Magic Strikes is up at 8.8k, uh, so yeah, Magic Strikes is a really great spamming skill. Now, obviously, I've spent time to upgrade my weapons to level 10, and I guess if you are cruising and playing a lot through the tiers, you may only want to get your weapons to, let's say, level 6 before you're kind of going up a tier, but if you are, you know, spending a little bit longer at these kind of tiers, then uh, definitely take the time to, to level your weapons. We're getting so much power from these being uh, level 10, and we can kind of just outpower everything in these dungeons. Tier 6, we're, we're actually, yeah, there's not too much to worry about in terms of bosses. So we're doing hard hard boss this time. We got the curse, so we need to remember a couple of things. Firstly, we can't use potions in hard mode which is why Twin Blast is uh, pretty important. And we want to make sure that we, well, we will have to use Drain at some point. So we do need to manage our mana quite effectively. I do actually have mana jewels in my weapons. That gives me yeah, a little bit of mana, not too, not so much, but they are useful. Okay, so now we've got two dots on us. So you just want to yeah, make sure you watch your mana if you're doing hard mode. I mean, there's a fair chance you won't have as much keys as this and uh, when you're running through the game normally. But yeah, the multi-tremor is, uh, is super strong and we're actually, we're super tanky compared to, to Ronin's uh, double cut, so. Going through here, use a twin blast, make sure we don't run out of mana. I think, yeah, we even, we even have ma magic down. And boom, there we go. So definitely that skill setup is, is pretty good uh, for mages. We can really tank up and we gain a level there, super nice. So let's move on to uh, PvP, which is kind of fun. Now, 
this setup here, I mean, look, this, this, this is like tier three armor. I mean, it's just kind of ridiculous. Uh, you can put whatever you want in there. Now, for a, a war defense build, I would go with something like this, Steady, de steady Pendant and Waking Pendant to counter stun. If you are attacking, then you can switch this to a couple of Trolls Charms. Always nice to have extra mana, extra, extra stats. So let's do that. And you'll see my skill set up here in, in just a moment. We're going with the really heavy nuke skill setup with the Cataclysm as our main spell. That's from the level 75 uh, Sorcerer. And okay, we, we missed the first one, but this is going to be our main spamming skill and it does like unstable damage. So it's going to be a kind of a wide range of damage, but a lot of people at this tier, we're going to be able to one shot. And it's uh, certainly heaps of fun. Yeah. Especially when there's no second chance involved. I mean, 4.8K. And, you know, still decent rewards in here, especially in terms of orns at this tier. So make use of the arena tokens you get from farming bosses and uh, go check out the arena. What other skills we have? Well, Inferno, just in case we come across someone resistant to Earth, I would use these two rather than I mean, if you are Frozen Guard or Stormforce, those skills have a chance to freeze you or paralyze you, which are a bit more annoying than, than Rot or Burn. We also have Bolt 3 and uh, Magic Sword 2 as elementless skills. We'll be doing less damage, but you can't resist them. Magic Sword can also lower the resistance on opponents. And okay, he's got, mad, he's got double resistance up. Let's see how much damage we actually do with Cataclysm. And the answer is quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is why Duelist is, is awesome. And like, if you are, th if you are um, trying to win wars, I would say this is a super, super build because not only will you dominate on offense most of the time, and look, let's... Let's cast Mimic's Mischief. I mean, it doesn't matter if you get cursed here because hopefully we're not going to be in here for, for 10 rounds for you to die. But look at the damage, turn turn 2 damage. Yeah, 7k. Blade Master, 7k. And those spells are pretty common to proc. Cataclysm will proc rock quite a lot, which is great for Blade Masters and Second Chance. So we'll go right through them. 8.7k and we get a nice mushroom so as i said in terms of war defense i will definitely put in like a waking pendant so you don't so you're immune to sleep and you can either use a, a troll charm for stats or or a steady pendant is pretty nice as well yeah, for stun that that way you're this this will win you a lot of defense on on wars so that is yeah super good. Uh, I don't have a war this this time round. And the yeah, the last thing I'll just show you my stats for PvP actually. I mean it, as I said it's not it's not super different to uh, the gauntlet stats fifteen hundred magic without the the trolls charms and I think we maybe lost. Uh, did we lose a bonus somewhere? No. I don't know why the difference is so high. Uh, because the because our, our class passive doesn't work in PvP, I think. Yeah, okay. And okay, so raid, let's talk about raiding then. So we've got yeah, similar stats, seven hundred defense, nineteen hundred magic, one thousand resistance. And the gear is pretty much the same as Gauntlet raid, Gauntlet setup. In your in your armor, you know, use the best you've got in terms of stats. And I'm using a dragoon swarm for an extra two percent action rate chance on my pet. 
And the reason is Banshee and Cruel Banshee, both of them, Banshee is non-event pet. They, they cast Whale, which can actually dr proc double resistance down on an enemy. And if that happens in the raid, your damage is going to go, yeah, thermonuclear, basically. It's going to go, it's going to be super high. Trollstorm, bit of extra stats. I mean, if you never know what to put as accessories, yeah, go stick a Trollstorm on. Now, raiding is probably the point where Ward will help out, you know, more than other places at this, at this sort of level. And I just want to make sure I've got a good skill set up here because, yeah, the, the reason is if we're going to go against Titan here, Titan will be uh, resist to earthen skills. So I'm going to put on magic strikes. And Sorrow 2 would be perfect here, but I don't think mine, mine is not charged. Uh, Sorrow 2 would be a great skill to spam in raids. Omni Strike to lower resistances and reduce attack and, and magic stats of your of the raid. And that will get you through, you know, pretty much most most raids. Let's go for Titan first of all, which is the same tier normal kingdom raid. And setup's gonna be fairly similar, Golem's Fortitude, Barrier 2. Go with the magic boost. And at this point I would start Omni Striking. Uh, okay, maybe Omni Striking isn't gonna work. <laughs> okay, forget Omni Strike for Titan. In this in this scenario, you would want to bring. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but to reduce the resistance of of the raid. So that's a little mistake on my part. Apologies there. And again, if you had the Ring of Day, you could use the Ring of Day and the Jin's Talent skill. That would be probably your best bet. In this case, you don't need to cast. It means you won't have to cast a uh, drain uh, so often. But you see, our drain is still doing yeah eight hundred uh, healing, so it's not too bad. And it's going to be simply magic strikes for this raid. In terms of you know cheap mana skill and kind of damage output, it's it's pretty decent still. That rot is lasting a very long time. Now we're stunned. Now it's probably a good time to use, yeah, a potion. So you can see multi tremor doing 5k, magic strikes doing 8k, and we're petrified as well. Now I'm just going to use my panacea just because I, I have them. Now I know panaceas are not super common at, the, at this tier, but from just okay, we got we got altered. Check the can't check in there, but there you have it. 100k into Titan in a couple minutes, it's not too bad. Let's try Surter, tier five. And notice that in the last raid, we didn't get a whale proc from our pet. If you get the rate, if you get the, the double resistance down on your, on the raid boss, it can be, yeah, you can be, you can keep going for for longer, as long as you survive a hit. I'm gonna see if my I can damage. Yeah, so I can use Omni Strike this time. Tier five raid. So you want to use if Omni Strike does damage, you want to use it until you basically proc 
Attack down, magic down, and resistance down. Oh, uh, Searcher use Ragnarok. Uh, okay, that didn't really work. Let's try Hell. I forgot that uh, Ragnarok does damage depending on if you've got um, stat downs, debuffs, and stuff. But also, I think it does. It might just do decent damage because these guys are event raids and pretty strong. Just when it is, it will always proc resistance down last. Yeah. Okay. I had magic down. Magic down. Uh, Attack down, so okay, sorry about that. Hell and uh Searcher, you did not not the greatest examples. You know, they are tier five, they are event bosses though, so you want to get damage out probably a bit quicker than I was doing there. Let's take Starlord as an example because a lot of players at this tier are still gonna be uh raiding Star Lord. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get Omni Strikes on. Now there's the double resistance down. So that's the whale proc from our pet. Wow. If you had like a tier four Yeti coat, it would be really nice for this raid actually. Okay. Let's just show you the what the damage what the damage output can be like. We're using a multi tremor. So yeah, we can hit eleven ten, eleven K per turn. As long as you are hitting. You kinda want to I would say yeah. Mix your accessories to the raid boss you're attacking the most Blind immunity would be super good here. And freeze and burning. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely say duelist is is definitely more of a a PvP class um, spec. But you can still dish out damage uh, in raids. Will not be as berserker because we're basically missing another 50% damage here. But yeah, if you are tier tier 6 playing battle mage, let me know what you think. Let me know how it compares to to your build. And if there's anything I could improve on this character, let me know as well. What do you think? In terms of event gear, I could always, you know, of course I could kill this Surtur and get the chest and kill young Apollyon and get gear there. But being realistic, these uh, event raids, it's, it's very hard to get, to get gear from them that are high quality, high rarity. But let's see what we do against young Apollyon. Seems like a more worthwhile opponent compared to Hell and Surtur, which are really out to get you. Okay, we got attack down. That'll probably do for, for Omni Strike. And now we use Mimic's Mischief. Unfortunately, got cursed. So we'll use Super Elixirs. Wisp's heal would, is actually a good shot as well for a skill. So actually, I would probably take, instead of Sorrow, I should probably have Wisp's heal here. And that can cure things like stunned, uh, burning, 
frozen, that kind of thing. It's actually a very good shout. Okay, so finally, if we can not be stunned for a while, please. I mean, drain is still doing 4 4k damage. So if you are doing one multi tremor, one drain, you know it's still 16k, still 8k a turn. Oh, watch for the counterattack. <laughs> there we go, another 100k in a couple of minutes. So yeah, probably at max damage output, you're looking at 100k in a couple of minutes here for, for raid. And I reckon that'll do it for this. I mean, as I said, like this build really shines in, in PvP. You can kind of just walk in, hit Cataclysm, hit Inferno. over and over again and stuff just goes boom big thanks to the arisen Orna legends for supporting myself and the channel and the discord server for Orna legends keeps all the content going and the upkeep of everything it really is much appreciated stay tuned for more mid-tier early tier build videos gonna spread the love around all the class lines and thanks for watching i'm shabash and we'll see you in the next video ciao